So this is just going to be a quick cell phone video again because I'm getting ready to go to the mountains for Memorial Day to our cabin. So I'll take a footage of that for next week, but uh, hi! <laughs> Traditions! Traditions! That's actually really funny because I was going to try out for Fiddler on the Roof and then I decided not to because I wanted to try out for Taming of the Shoe because it was Shakespeare and I'm better at that than I am at musicals. And turns out it was a good choice because apparently the Fiddler on the Roof tryouts were super intense, according to my friend, and that she has no idea how the director is going to choose who is going to be in the show. She was, she works at the theater, so I think I made the right choice. So with school traditions, I'm done with school, obviously, but with high school, there weren't like a whole ton of traditions. Like, we had prom, obviously, every year, which was kind of lame, but after prom was cool. We always have after prom, so that the kids, instead of going out and drinking and doing bad things. That's a warning to anyone who's thinking about doing bad things. <laughs> they go to after prom and you play games and you win prizes and stuff, which is a lot of fun. Um, but one of the traditions I always think of is senior pranks. Kind of reminds me of your muck up day, but whenever it comes to the end of the school year, the seniors do pranks and it's not really allowed necessarily. Like it's, it's understood that they're going to do them, um, but you could get in trouble for them if you're caught. So the trick is to do pranks that either don't damage anything or just don't get caught. One of the coolest pranks that ever happened was one done by one of my friends. Well, my friend's brother, who's kind of a friend. Um, they broke into the school at night stacked all and stacked all of the tables and chairs in the common area so it was like a mountain of tables and chairs. That was like one of the best pranks ever. But there have been some really stupid pranks too that hurt other people. Like the class of 2009, no 2000, no the class of 2007, the one after me, killed the grass like with some kind of weed killer or something in the shape of the, of 2008. And so my sister who graduated in 2008, they got in trouble for that because it was 2008 but it was the other class that had done it. I just think that's so stupid and mean. That's not even a funny prank. I don't know. So, I, I, and then there's pranks where people take that stuff for hunting that smells like elk pee that's supposed to help the hunters like attract elk and like also hide their scent or whatever. People would pour that in the hallway or in soap dispensers and stuff and that's just gross. It's not even, I don't know, there's certain pranks that I think are really stupid and never should have been done, but there are pranks that are really funny too, so it's kind of a give and take thing. I dropped my marker. Oh no. Ugh, picking up my marker. So yeah. Uh, as I said on Facebook, wait, I had to cut that out because I accidentally showed you a phone number. Just suffice it to say that this is a script for Taming of the Shrew. Now I'm Julia, one of... The servants in Petruchio's household. My glorious, glorious three lines. Wait, I have to find them. <gasps> Ooh, drop the thread. How now, Grumio? And all things is ready. <laughs> How near is our master? And then here, here, here. And then I have one other line. One other line. To Catalina. What say you to a calf's foot? This is when she's super hungry and she wants something and she doesn't care what. So, my glorious three lines for a professional theater production, my first one ever. So, and only the third one I've ever tried out for in my life, professional one. But yeah. So, to any of those of you who are watching who probably this is not going to happen, but if you are from Colorado and you are planning on coming to see the play, just know I may only have three lines. But for almost the entire act two, I will be there, on stage, watching you. Really, it's not stage. The cool thing about this is it's called A Taste of Shakespeare. And so, we are performing on a stage two of the nights, I think, maybe three. But all the rest of the nights, 
or outside. So we have a tent that's we're gonna paint the backdrop under the t different sides of the tent, and the seating will all be you know on the grass and stuff. So most of our performances will be outdoors, in a park. So it's like gypsy style. We show up, we set up our tent, we do the performance, we take it down and go. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. Yeah. But practices are outside too, so it's gonna be really hot. And I'm missing the family reunion for this, but. It's Shakespeare. I like it. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because I still need to do all my chores and pack. So... R2. R2, you will end this video.